Saturday morning. Heading to the dog park with a very excited puppy in tow today. Dog park is a pretty crazy place socially. Everyone sort of stands around with their dogs. No one really talks to each other. They kind of, if a dog jumps up on them, they'll, you know, give it a bit of a stroke and say hi to it. But often the owners just all stand around within 10 or 15 feet of each other, not talking, just sort of watching over their, watching over their dogs. Hey bud, hey bud, oh, what's that? What's that there? What's that? Oh, Alex. Mm, so I gotta head to my <coughs> business partner's house to do that that bending. Um, I really want to get my motorcycle running, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get it up and going. So I'm gonna go out now, give it a few dozen kickstarts and. Wish me luck because I haven't gone riding in a few weeks because I haven't prioritized it. So I want to get it going. So I've admitted about 15 minutes of me huffing and puffing trying to get this started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the carb float, which is right here. There's a few screws around it and clean out what's inside there. Hopefully, that will be all I need will get this going again. Oh. That gas looks gross. Wonder if that riding around has kind of stirred up some sediment in the gas tanks. So anyway, hopefully getting rid of this is gonna get rid of what I need to get rid of. So it's tiny little bike that I have. The kicking it over is an exhausting experience uh, akin to pulling in on you. Old lawn mowers, you pull, you pull, you pull to get them started. How quickly you get winded, how quickly you get exhausted by that sort of affair. You know, I feel like you've got to be a professional athlete, you know, to be able to handle that sort of rigorous. I think I probably kicked it over 20 times, 30 times, but each time you kick it, you have to reposition your legs, reposition your foot, reposition, you can't just kick, 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 kick. And so, it's just an arduous affair, just, and, anyway, suffice to say, clean the carbs out, clean the dirt and gas out, still won't kick over, so it looks like I might not have a bike for the end of the summer, paying ridiculous amounts of insurance on something that I can't ride. Uh, anyway, end of rant, I'm just gonna sell my bikes next summer, get something newer with a push start, something more reliable. I mean, it's fun to have an old bike, but even after taking a small engine course, I'm still not very good at fixing these things, and I have no workspace to do anything. I want to be able to, you know, pull the, if, pull the whole bike apart, pull every engine piece out, clean every single piece, get it running on the bench before I put it into the bike, running smoothly without any problems, patch all the holes, and I can't do that. So I'd rather have it in pieces and know why it's not running than have it you know, with a tarp on it downstairs, ready to run, charge battery, and not start. So either I need to get a work bench or a work area this, this winter, or look at selling the bikes, because this is a little ridiculous. So my business partner's decided that he's gonna go off for the weekend, and um, since he has all the keys to all the offices, I can't really do very much work uh, without him. So that's left me the weekend without plans because I kept it free so that we could work. Anyway, so as you saw, I am doing a little reading. I'm reading Gone Girl. I've wanted to read it for a while. I started with the audiobook and then I only listen to audiobooks when I'm going on long trips. And I so rarely go on a long trip, but I still remember listening to the first few chapters and sort of liking the writing style. So got it loaded up on my Kindle, so I'm doing a little bit of reading. Um, might play a little bit of the new Mad Max game, not really sure yet. Uh, and then probably get outside, do some more hammocking, because why the hell not? <laughs>